Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It is Wednesday night. It's supper time. It's coffee time. Are y'all ready for supper and coffee? I sure am. I've had a long, hard day today. One of those that just goes on and on. But I'm blessed. Too blessed to be stressed. And we're going to eat some spaghetti. Mama, we, what are we having here? Tell us all about it. This is all you tonight. Oh, it's just spaghetti with leftover chicken. So she's got her water up here. This is about half. And um, she's going to put a little butter in it. I think they tell you not to do this part. Yeah. And we're putting a little salt in it, but it's ours. We had, we bought it, paid for it, and we can do what we want to with it. And so can you. So it's got butter. It's got water. It's got salt. And now it's got spaghetti. And this is just our store brand spaghetti. It goes right in here. Have we shut down this part before? So not maybe sometimes we make it ahead. All right, a little bit of butter there. Now this is cold water. Is that enough though? Spaghetti? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Don't need much. Don't need much, ain't getting much. I'll put a little bit more. We can always mix it with something else. So we're gonna put the lid on that. We're gonna put it in there for 10. Whole minute. And here is the fire on the lid. It goes here for where the, the drain is. Drain now. now this don't lock down on there. No. And you can get this now, but it's not going to be in the next catalog. Uh, it just sits on there, and you hold it with these thick sides here. You want to hold it by them. Grab it while you can. We love this thing. I don't know what we'll do. I guess maybe they'll come back with another color or something. But I love it. I love that spaghetti maker. I love the breakfast maker. It's not going to come back either in the new catalog. So I don't know what's going on. This is the chicken we had left from last night. So we're going to eat that with the spaghetti? Yeah. Or you want to eat this with the salad? We can eat part. This ain't fried. This is grilled. You want the cutting board to cut it up so we can have pieces? Okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, uh, I wasn't going to do a thing. I was on retirement tonight. Oh, no. You can do that little one if you want to. And I'm I'll just... Not eat more Good. How good do you want uh, Open this. I can't get it open. Oh, what's my embarrassment stuff in front of all my friends? Oh. We're just going to This is food. just ragu out of a jar. How dare you, John. Chucky Garden Combination Sauce. Because it's quick, it's easy. It's a good shortcut tonight. We use jarred sauce. I make homemade sauce sometimes. But not this. every time. Meat and onions cooked. So we'll just pour this right in here. Pour that right in there. Mama will give this jar a wrench wrench. Mm -hmm. Won't you, Mama? Yeah. With some good filtered water. Look how thick. It's wonderful. Now you can slow sauce yours all day long if you want to. And I like to do that on a Saturday when i got plenty of time. Tonight's a quick fix for us because tonight's our church night. Tonight's our night where probably the busiest we are. Uh, and a lot of times we'll do sandwiches or something quick and easy, but we're going to show you tonight how quick and easy this spaghetti is. I'm just going to cut this chicken up just like this. And we'll have this. We'll probably make another meal of this chicken because we'll probably have salad. I've got some delicious romaine lettuce in there. Not tonight. That may be tomorrow night. We'll lay this chicken on there. Have And I've got those, uh, I've got that Thousand Island dressing in there, which will be delicious. I've also got ranch. Well, not long I might have used that ranch for this, oh, we're making this chicken. I didn't use it She didn't use it up, she said. And, uh, and I'll make some more if I need to. It's so easy to make. It's a lot of like it. Good, because I was going to take call 911. I think I'm having something. <laughs> Do we look like we're blinking? I think we're blinking. Sometimes around here in the woods, you get a wire that's a little loose. In the wind to blow, when the wind blows, your lights will flicker. And you have to call it in and let them know. I don't know if that's what that is, or maybe it's a loose bulb. But he hadn't been doing that. I'm cutting up all this chicken. We'll use part of it tonight. We'll use part of it um, for salad, probably, on another night. Maybe tomorrow night. 
Tomorrow would be a good salad day. I love a good crisp salad. And I would like to get another salad in while I still have a few green onions and I have some beautiful, well, I start to say red, but I've got red and I've got them stripeds. Mr. Stripey, is that what those was called? And there's a yellow, golden color. So both of those, I'm gonna leave that right there. Y'all seen what I did. I'm gonna leave that right there and we'll put that in there, but we'll have this for tonight. And then we will have um, something for tomorrow also. What y'all been doing today? I hope y'all have had a good day. I hope it's just been wonderful. The weather is wonderful here. We are up in the 70, 75. 75. Woo, that's so good. That's a good transition weather. It's not too cool. It's not too hot. It's just right. 75 is a wonderful temperature outside. And it's, was it up a little higher than that today, Mom? Yeah, I think it's up to 79 or something. 79. So see, y'all still had you some heat. You fall people, you still had you a little cool. So, uh, and there was no humidity. Uh, I have been out of town or two today. So there was no humidity. It was really nice. And I'm looking forward to those crisp mornings. Um... I've done that in my mind. Like this all week. Yeah, it's yeah, it is. I've done that in my mind. Lord willing, if I live, I'm going to build me some fires of the morning. Not maybe on a work day, probably on a Saturday. Um, and go out and have coffee just like I'm camping. We don't camp anymore. We used to camp, but. Um, I miss that, the smell of the fire and it crackling and it cool. You sitting there maybe in a hoodie, maybe drinking some fresh perks coffee right off the grill. I got a fire pit, um, let's see, early spring, they were on sale. And it's got a um, grate on it that you can make your coffee. So I can take my stove top percolator outside and I can have perk coffee outside just like I'm camping. That's one of my favorite things about camping is eating outside around the fire. Uh, I don't care nothing about sleeping in a camper. Uh, I don't care nothing about lugging and tugging and hooking up and all that. My favorite thing is always being build a fire and sit around the fire at night, roast marshmallows. And I can have that right here in the front or the backyard. Uh, either place I want it, if I just, um, build that fire. So I'm going to dedicate my mental mind here. I'm going to see build that fire. Because a lot of times, you know, I get up, even on Saturday, and I think, eh, I'll just sit in here. I ain't going to fill that fire. But I'm going to enjoy that. Because it's one of those things, once I do it, I'll be glad I did. And if I'm going to be here, that fire can just burn out and be okay the rest of the day. I don't have to worry with it. Um, it'd be hard to be able to the morning and you'd smell smoky. Don't want to smell smoke if we can keep from it, do we? What do y'all up to? 78 here in Arkansas. That's what we about had to do. It's 75 right now. Love coffee from a camper. I do too. Um, who said that? Come back down here. Love, well, you're gone. How do you get going with the phone? Joan says, love coffee off a camper. I do too, Joan. Uh, but you can have that at home if you got a fire pit. Just get up early, get out there. I usually, when I'm camping, I'm out way before daylight. So, I may do that. Don't know if I will this Saturday. Depends on if it's cool. Mmm. That first cool Saturday morning. Wouldn't that be nice? Do y'all enjoy, uh, do you enjoy the fire? Do you enjoy sitting around an open fire pit and just talking late in the evening, late in the night? Uh, early in the morning when it's cool and crisp and you get up. Another thing that I won't be able to duplicate and I really enjoy is when you're in the campsite and you got all your fellow campers around and you start hearing those fires crackling over there and over there and then you hear, you smell all that coffee wifting through the air. I'll have my own going, of course, but I do like that. Normally, nine times out of ten when we were camping, there'd be somebody else was the early bird. And we'd be out there, maybe the only two, three, four, who knows more. And somebody would say, enjoying that coffee? Yeah. 
enjoy getting up early and drinking that coffee. Because a lot of people, even if they sleep late at home, they enjoy that camping, getting out and doing coffee. Love the grill. Uh, in a camp, yeah, Kimberly, I love that too. This shirt's hard to read. Boy, I don't pick good shirts to read off of. Hmm. I love coffee too. Mmm, Carolyn, ain't it wonderful? I love bonfires. Patty, I love a good bonfire too, but I'll take a little campfire too. <laughs> too. <laughs> Hello, John and Mama. Hey, Lottie, how are you? Mama's cooking away. Why are you drinking? I've got uh, y'all's sweet peach tea. You want uh, some you got water, you coffee or anything? Nah, I've got a little drop of coffee here that I finished up. And I've got uh, my sweet tea and I got my water. Three beverages. That should do. I got a little sip of pop. Mama's got pop. We're going to get this spaghetti in the plate in about 52 seconds. No bread. We give that up. We're trying not to do pasta and bread at the same meal. Uh, we did have a little cornbread this week to brag on people, Mama. Yeah. That was a banner for us. <laughs> Ooh, cornbread in the store. I ain't had nothing a little while. No, we ain't had none. I mean, well, not like we used to. Let's see what Mom watch her. She don't know I've got her up there. She's... That, that is the... Oh, that looks wonderful, Mom. Oh, and it smells wonderful. I love spaghetti. It's one of my top three meals. It's good spaghetti. I like ziti, baked ziti, unbaked ziti, spaghetti, but anything with, with red sauce and delicious meat. Italian, I love it. Love it. And let's see if this noodles has done their thing that quickly. No boiling pot. None of that mess. Mama, you want to get that out of there for you? I believe I can. I got faith in you, Mama. Do you want me to get it? I've got it. Be extra careful. That's a little high for Mama. I was, she won't let me do it, but I worry Ooh. about it. You always peel that lid back like that. Yo, let's see what the noodles. Ooh, the noodles. It ain't done, is it? Well, probably not for you, Mama. How many did you have it in there? Nine minutes? Ten minutes. Ten. No, it's not. No, it's not quite there. What happened to it? No, but it's not quite yet. Nope. It's not even yet to authentic. Oh, yeah. If we turn the microwave down. No, it's... Because it always does it. It's hot. It's just that brand of noodles. You know, the macaroni takes longer. Yeah, it does. And this is too. This ain't ready. This will take another five. I think the microwave might have been turned down. I don't think it is. It's just... See, it's on maximum, mum, mum. I don't know how to get it on maximum. Well, we'll check it out. It wasn't ready. It wasn't even al dente yet. But it will be. We had liver and onions. Oh, Vanessa, I love it. Did you do calf liver? I do chicken liver and onions sometimes. Uh, Mama don't like liver and onions. She sure don't like calf liver. Um, she only eats chicken liver. But now me, I'll eat it both. Hi, John and Mama. Let's begin. And I do too. Hey, John and Mama. Hey, Robert. That spaghetti container is just amazing. I've got to get one. My son's um, eat a lot of pasta. Oh. Um, Rinda, you do. This is a lifesaver. Now, this is not normal. I think you have the microwave down of the brand of noodles we're using. Normally, in 10 minutes, it's good for me. Sometimes Mama wants 11, 12. She likes hers done, done, done. But that wasn't hardly done. But the breakfast thing, to the little purple, I showed you all you can do poached eggs, you can do fried eggs, you can do omelets. That thing is wonderful, too. But now, this pasta maker... I, it would be hard for me to say, Mama uses it 
as much as she does the micropro grill or the stack cooker yeah. for cooking. It's good for spaghetti and noodles and macaroni. Uh -huh. We use it a lot. We love it. You can use I mean, any kind of pasta. All my pasta gets fixed in there. Every once in a blue, blue moon, well, I'm not boiled any. I have fixed some in a dish and put the raw pasta and I'm added liquid to it. But I've only, since we've got that, I've never boiled it again on the stove. For one thing, I'm terrible at that. I always, even if I put a wooden spoon over it, if I add a little bit of oil, I always let it boil too much. Let it fizz over. Fizz over. Oh, oh, boil over. Boil over. It's in a fizz and it comes out of the kettle. Um, but you can stir it down with a wooden spoon or a spoon and you can put a wooden spoon across it and it'll it's magical I don't know how it works I really don't know I guess it just keeps it from boiling up or somehow I know that's not that's a quest, an answer with a question answer that's not a good answer to why it works I don't know why the wooden spoon across it because it's not touching it I can see if it was breaking the water tension on the top Unless it breaks the, the stain. I don't know. I need to look into that. Why does that work? Tupperware. Yep, it's Tupperware, and I'll put Mama's link in the comments below this video, and they're in the they're in our comments on every video. So if you're wondering what's Mama's Tupperware link, go back, and as long as it's in the month we're in, it's a good one. Um. But you can, anything we've done in September, we'll have that link under it. I don't put it on there using under Sunday School Highlights. I just don't really think about it. But It shouldn't be under the church stuff, no way. Well, I mean, it's on our page. It's yeah. not on the church. Um, but well, I mean, Sal and I don't like this church. She's strict. She says you shouldn't put it on Sunday School <laughs> So I think the reason why is just I don't ever think about it. Um, I don't when I'm doing this, I think about it because it's part of the cooking process, I guess. Uh, let's see. Church night tonight. Yep, yeah, it's Wednesday night. It's Wednesday night. And Maggie will get to see her babysitter. Maggie's acting better. It's magic, Sissy. I don't know what it is. Uh, Maggie's acting better the last two days. I think... After I thought about it, after I talked to y'all about it, I think it was that storm from the night before. Uh, because she was clingy, clingy for a couple of days. Uh, I think... I think she may have a little dementia. Um, she seems to sometimes forget things she used to remember, like, we'll go out and she won't she won't do her business and she's ready to come back in. You have to remind her, Maggie, honey, we're going to have to go potty. And then she'll go. And then she's okay. Um, or she'll get out there and she'll look around like she's not quite sure of her routine. And then other times she goes directly to her little routine that she's always done. Uh, and then there's also times where um, she'll kind of look around uh, like like what room is she in or whatever. I don't know. We just get the sense of it. And then we think she may have a little bit of sundowners. I've read up on that with, with dogs. Oh, that's good, Mama. There you go. Uh, I've read up on that you with dogs. You want me to drain it or just leave it? Nah, just leave it in there. We'll do drain as we put it on our plate. Um, I've read up on that with dogs for the first time. Here we go. I'll get concentrating here. And uh, of the evening, she gets a little clingy and a little worried and a little, like, uh, disoriented. So that's what I have diagnosed her with. And she's at that age where, yeah, but she's doing good. She's healthy. Uh, she's still running around. And, and sometimes when I think, poor old Maggie's having trouble getting around, and then the UPS guys show up and she runs up like a teenager. And I'm like, girl, have you been faking it? She's a doll, baby. And the spaghetti sauce. And a little chicken. Yes. 
I want to. I want to make this look just like downtown. There was palms on there for me. Yeah. Yeah. There's Parmesan left, and there's Parmesan Romano or something other in there. Well, look at that. Now, this is not fried chicken. This is not my favorite, but it'll be good. And it'll add a little layer of uh, protein on there. Won't it? What do you think about it? It's a good thing, Mama says. Yeah. She's going to lie here in a minute. I'm ready. <laughs> it's been a long time since we ate. <laughs> since the last time. Did you eat lunch today, Mama? <laughs> you don't want Cheese? Yeah. I just ate some cookies. <laughs> I said you didn't want to know. <laughs> well, I can get the cheese to come out. What kind of cookies did you eat? Some Oreos. Oreos! <laughs> On an unrelated note, I'm looking for somebody to stay with an elderly person. <laughs> it made me think of something I've seen on Facebook or somewhere. It said, Kat's talking and said, She says, Treats, a lot of treats is not good for me. And I sit over here and watch her eat a whole pack of Oreo cookies. <laughs> I agree with the cat mother. <laughs> Let's bless this and bless you. Mercy. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands who prepared it to the Lord. And we just ask you to watch over us, lead God, and direct us to the Lord. And help us to do the things you'd have us to do. And dear Lord, we pray that you remove each and every prayer request. All those in need and all those in heard, dear Lord. Put a hedge of protection on each and every one, dear Lord. Your blessing now we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's give it a try, Oreo. Now, Mom, uh -huh. what on earth made you eat Oreos for lunch? They were handy. <laughs> well, the... I really wasn't hungry. There's celery, there's carrots, and then it's real handy. Do you want me to eat that for lunch? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How many Oreos are we talking here? We didn't count. <laughs> Mom, I can't leave you alone for a minute. You climbing ladders today? Nope, no ladders. You been up downstairs today? Nope. I've been good. Well, who could after they beat a pack of Oreos? Mm. Are we talking in the three to four range, the six to seven range? We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> but we are going to check some glucose levels before you go to bed. Oh, I'll do that. Not unless I remind you. <laughs> I probably should add in that this person I'm asking for a caretaker is hard to hit and hard to tell anything to. So be know know what you're getting into before you apply. I'm not that bad. Oh, Mama, I don't mean it was you. Oh no. Whew. Remind myself in the morning, take the Oreos and put them in the car. I'll find something else. <laughs> She's in her terrible class. <laughs> Alright, folks, this is it tonight, just like downtown. Look at that. Mama. Mm -hmm. Say a sweet good night to everybody. Sweet good night to everybody. I'm not sweet now. That was a long time ago. I ate cookies. But your sugar probably skyrocketed and now it's probably lower and then you're eating pasta and it'll probably shoot up again. Oh, I'm not eating that much. Mama said there'd be days like this. Y'all have a great night. Try deep fried okra. Mm. Oh no, try deep fried Oreos, Amy says. No, okra. <laughs> Sorry, Amy, I have this shirt, I can't read. Um, we we used to do deep fried Oreos at our church. They're very good. 
I am not big on them. Spaghetti is my favorite. Mine too, Kim. One of my very favorites. Hey, Cindy. All right, folks, we're going to go. I've got some sugar to check. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a blessed night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.